I'm Michelle. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is Lara. Hi. You're touched up, though. I'm not touched up. I swear to you on my life, this is the makeup I put on this morning. Does it look touched well, up? Well, this is the makeup I put on, and it's not there anymore. So, this is I'm using the wrong thinking. makeup. We're going to do a little touch up. It's 8 o'clock at night. We're going out. It's summertime. We're going to go out. We want to have a fun night, but we need to touch up. And I really don't feel like washing my old face off and starting over. So, if I have to do mascara again, I'm not going out. No. You know, there's a few things I'll put up with. Putting mascara on twice in one day, I won't. No, never. So, eyeliner, maybe. But we, never mascara. Yeah, eyeliner, always <laughs> touch up on. So, we're going to show you how to do a mid evening summer touch up without starting fresh. Yes. Taking what you have, which is mediocre. Very mediocre. It's been a long day. It's mm -hmm. hot. I've been sweating. We're exhausted. We're exhausted. And we're going to take mediocre to amazing. Stand by. <laughs> so here we are. We are going to pick five items that we cannot leave home without. Five minute touch up. This was a hard five decision. Items. Five minute touch up, five items. It was hard to break this down. Yes. But it's important. And we figured it out. Okay. What do you think? So for my five items, I need, obviously, I'm between the cocktail mm. and eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. I need to cancel out the red. I need blush. Mm -hmm. So I need concealer, blush, lips is a given. And and then we decided on eyebrows. Huge. We're big brow girls. Yep. And lips. Did we say lips? Yeah. So eyebrows, cheeks, lips, concealer, eyeliner if you need it, or mascara. Yep. Okay. Because everyone needs to look good. So first of all, let's do our concealer. I like to okay. use this Kevin Acoin concealer. It's my favorite. It's really, really high concentrated. It's very similar to this, uh, the MAC, Mac. Uh, Select Cover Up Concealer, except that it's even more pigmented. And I like to just use a little tiny bit and literally just go under the eyes. Which also makes you look way more awake, way more alive, contours your face. Yep, I usually do uh, under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, and kind of blend it down into the middle of my face. Put it here. Done. You can use a brush, you don't have to use a brush. You can use your fingers. You can use your fingers. Um, the nice thing about this concealer is it's like you literally use the smallest amount ever and it lasts forever. This jar will last me like a few years if I let it. Um, looking amazing, Laura. Amazing. So then I am going to touch up on my powder. Um, I love this Makeup Forever transparent powder. It's white, it's um, high definition powder, and it rocks my world and let me show you why. And we both have it in our purse at all times. At all times. You just I like to pour a little bit into my hands um, with a powder brush and dust it all over. And if you're going to be taking pictures that night, you will, we guarantee it, look better in pictures. 100%. So if you're going to Facebook this, if you're doing any mobile uploads, you're going to need this. <laughs> right? 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 Okay, but look how crappy my skin looks right now. It's because I need to touch up on my bronzer. So, That's next true. step is bronzer. Bronzer and blush. For me, I can't do bronzer without blush. So, I'm doing a Bobbi Brown bronzer in medium. Everyone has a different color. You could either be light, medium, dark. Um, you can't just get one generic bronzer for everyone. Everyone has different undertones in their skin. This happens to be the right color for my skin and Laura's. Yep. So, um, touching up on the bronzer, bringing some color back in. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Look, look who's amazing. Look, look who's who is sun all day, except that I haven't. Right? Bronzer. 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 Then, on top of bronzer, right in the apples of her cheek. Blush. 
Which I feel like at some point we need to teach them the tricks of blush. That's a different time. There's so many tricks to blush, you have no idea. I feel like so many people use blush the wrong way. Um, they use it kind of like this, so it should really just be like a pop of color right in the apples of our cheeks. Laura, you look amazing. It's starting to look like four o'clock instead of eight o'clock. A hundred percent. Um, I always do my bronzer first and then I do my blush literally right in the apples of my cheek. Um, this is my little blush uh, little palette that I put together from Bobbi Brown. Um, and I'm going to use this color right here called Pale Pink. Yes, that's Pale Pink. It does look bright, but how it goes on is going to rock your So look, I'm smiling. Right in the apples. That's really so do the blush. fake smile. This is my shawls. <laughs> so real. I'm happy right now. You're right. Me too. Blending. Hi. Pop of color. Look who's alive right now. Look who looks better than when they began. Okay. Done. So bronzer does a little bit, but... Yeah, this is bronzer without blush. This is bronzer with blush. I don't think that you... Uh, a lot of people realize that you need to do both. Give me your best fake no, smile. No, I can't. Give me your best fake smile. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> We're making this real. Awesome. I know. I'm sorry. So blush. blush. You guys get the point. Blush. Bronzer, um, blush. You get it. Yes. So Laura happens Brows. to be the brow expert, um, and she's going to sit and tell you a little story about eyebrows and action. Well. If you want to frame your face, if you want to look, make your eyes pop, mm -hmm. define everything, and if you guys look at magazines or look at pictures, you might not notice the eyebrows, but it's because they create everything. They tie everything together. Well spoken. They stand out. So, we are serious, Michelle and I are serious about eyebrows. We don't mess around. There's a few things we mess around with. Eyebrows is not one of them. No. And so we're going to take a little angle brush. My eyebrows are pretty dark, so I don't need a lot, but I just like to touch up on them. I don't, I actually really don't need a lot in my brows today. But sometimes with dancing sometimes, or sweating, yeah, like sometimes you do, I kind of blend it in a little bit. If I, like when I leave home in the morning and I like am in a real hurry, the two things I'll do is curl my eyelashes and fill in my brows. Yep, and then while I'm driving, I put on lipstick. Well, I'm stopped at the light, of course. Stopped at the light, of course. Never while driving. Never while driving. Oh my gosh, Laura, you look amazing. Well, maybe we should show them the difference. I think we should. Get on in there. Hi. Hi. Look who's alive tonight. Lara. Hi. La 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 Lara. Um, the ends, even if, okay, so even if you don't want them to be as prominent mm -hmm. and as strong, you're going to want to, fine, don't do the front, mm -hmm. but you're going to want to take it and at least do the outside because everyone's outside of their eyebrow is, it disappears, it tends to disappear. And look, it's so much better. So, so much better. even if you don't want to do the whole thing you at least need to do the outside edge. Perfect. And the last thing we're going to do to touch up is our lips. I usually wear gloss all day long. Every now and then I like to spruce it up a little bit with a lipstick. It's summer. I'm into corals. Rocket. Lock. What you got? Well, I have Cream Sheen. It's Max new lipsticks. Well, I think they've been around for a little bit. Really? But it's called Everhip. Which Let's is what see it how will be. Ever hip it really is. I have a little lip gloss on though. Sometimes I like to mix my gloss with it. Ooh, looks really good. You know what I have that um, I love to use as a lipstick? It's actually a cream brush, cream blush. It's from Stila. And I've, I've had this for a long time. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But it's like a pale pink uh, cream. A little touching up. We'll have to save our favorite pale pink lipstick for the I know, time. I have a favorite. This is a... But favorite. we're in a hurry, remember? Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes what is this color? I don't even know because it's that way. No name. That's how much we love it. I know, it's perfect. 
So, but what, where are we going to go tonight? Are you going anywhere, really? No. I'm going anywhere. So far, we're at the pool. It's a Thursday night in Utah. Thursday? Where let's, did we go? Let's think of what's happening. So far, I think Melrose is the place, right here. Cool. Well, we're at the pool. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Cute little kids out there. There are two men we could pick up on right there. No one's at the pool. <laughs> Two cute little kidding, kids right there. Kidding. Sorry, boys. Sorry, Sorry boys. boys. We're way too old for you. Um, there's your five minutes, five steps, five products to go out with at night without having to redo up. your whole face. Hope you like it. Peace. Out.